Have you ever created a video on YouTube only to realize that, man, I got to package this video now. And when I say package, I mean, you have to create thumbnails, you have to create the description and you want to make sure everything is SEO friendly and you have to think about all these things to do in order to present your video the right way on YouTube. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use automation in order to create everything that you need in order to package your video and go viral. And I'm going to show you this right now. All right, so let's jump in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the, the entire automation in a bird's eye view. And then we're going to break each piece down, show you how much everything is going to cost you in order to implement this automation. And don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to build this step by step. And if you don't want to do it step by step, you can join my community where you, all you have to do is click on this more button click on the more button, <laughs> click on import, and then you can import this entire automation into your make workflow. But we'll get into that into a sec in, a, in a second. All right, so the first thing we got to use is we're going to use YouTube, right? That's the, that's the start of the show. We'll pull the video from YouTube. We'll figure out how long the video is. Then we, we also pull out the transcript. And then we'll, after we do that, then we got to um, come up with a, a video title. Then we got to come up with the video chapters. And then we're going to come up with a video description. And then we are going to come up with the words to put on the thumbnail, right? And then we got to use all that information and create a script so that we can create the actual image for the, um, the thumbnail for the YouTube video. And then we're going to use Leonardo.ai uh, in order to generate the um, YouTube thumbnail. And then we're going to throw everything in Airtable so that we can review it. And if we have time, what I'll do is I'll take it a step further where we can automate pushing out the image, pushing out the um, the descriptions and everything and throw it into the video and publish it right back on YouTube. OK. All right. So in order to make this all happen, we're going to use a software called Meek.com. Uh, Meek.com is the automation tool that basically um, puts all the software pieces together, make them talk to each other so that way um, you can basically orchestrate this entire thing. So make is the make is the what we use to do that. Um, make is free. And again, everything that I talk about today, I'm going to put links in the description. So you can just click on those links and you can get access to all of these tools. So you don't have to write anything down right now. OK, um, make is free to use. Um, they give you a thousand operations per month so you can get started. And once you start building uh, at least for this workflow, you can build it without any cost. But if you start building um, different workflows, you're going to have to um, increase your account later on. But for today, you can set up for me for free using the link below. And um, that's what you need. All right. The next piece we're going to use is called zero code. So we yeah, make is a no code tool, but they allow you to code. And um, with YouTube and with Google, they are heavy encrypted with things. So we are going to have to code in order to pull out the transcript and in order to pull some information from YouTube. Um, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. But zero code is uh, a tool that we can use inside of make that allows us to put our own code in there. OK, and as far as pricing for this, uh, for this tool, it's free to use. They give it 25 um, um, app, apps or 25 um, iterations for free. Um, um, per month, um, but it, eventually you're going to have to bump it up to about $10 a month and they give you 5,000 application credits. So um, for me and my account, I bumped it up because, uh, you know, during testing and things like that, I wanted to uh, make sure that I had enough credits and $10 is not going to break the bank. OK, but again, to get started today, you can just um, sign up for free using the link below and um, you get access to the zero code kit. OK, the next tool we're going to use is um, Leonardo.ai. Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Leonardo AI. Okay. So I had a conversation today with, with, with a partner of mine about Leonardo.ai because I tried it about a month ago and I didn't have any success with it because I was so excited to, to see Leonardo AI because we back when, when, or when, um, automations and AI just started and, um, I was on mid journey. Um, I was going through the discord and I would just generate images through mid journey and I thought how amazing it was. Um, but unfortunately with mid journey, they don't, they don't, they don't integrate with anyone. So there's, uh, there's third party tools you can use to access mid journey, but they don't have any direct 
um, integrations with Make or other tools so that you could automate generation of images. So I was very excited to see Leonardo that AI and they had those things in place. And to me, Leonardo, Leonardo that AI compares more so to uh, Mid Journey um, than any other tool that I've seen so far out there as far as um, AI automations and, and um, image generation is concerned. So I settled for using um, Dolly 3 um, through OpenAI. So, I mean, if you go through my threads, you can, if you go through my um, social media, you can see that I've used um, Dolly to produce a lot of images out there. But my wife was like, you know, these images are crap. They're not you. You know, they're not, they, just, they don't present your brand, your image uh, well. So you need to look, do something different. So um, I'm happy that I had the discussion today with a partner of mine and he just told me, you know, how to tweak my prompts. And now I'm, I'm, I'm using it and I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent there yet. As far as being like a thousand percent confident that everything's going to work. Because again, um, I just had the conversation today with my, my partner and, um, I like what I see, man. It's, it's, it's amazing. This is way better than Dolly three. Uh, it has very realistic images and you, you get to see from this, 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 uh, this screenshot here that how amazing they are. They just came up with a new model um, called the Phoenix, the Phoenix, the Phoenix model, but it's not incorporated with um, any um, APIs yet. So we, I'm using the older models and the older, model, older models are amazing, but the Phoenix model is like crazy. So once they, once they like activate the APIs on this, it's going to go bananas. So I'll show you um, in a second, but um, I digress, right? So let's look at the cost for this. <laughs> the cost is um, fairly free. It's just like um, any of the other AI tools. You could just add credits to the account and then you will have a certain amount of credits that you can add to it. And then it's paper usage. Um, that's how that's how it works here as well. Um, the last piece we are going to use is Airtable. Airtable is a glorified um, Excel spreadsheet. OK, <laughs> um, we're going to use that to build our um, to, to, to store everything, to store all of our um, descriptions, our images and everything will start on Airtable. And um, yeah, and then we can set triggers to, to, to launch everything. But uh, I'll show you that in a second. And again, for this, it's also free to use. But of course, you're going to need to have a YouTube channel, right? That's where we're pulling everything from. YouTube is free. Once you create a channel, then you'll be able to, um, then you'll be able to um, access everything. Okay. All right. So let's get into, let's get into the automation All right now. Let's build this thing. Okay. All right. So let's jump back into make and build it. So the first thing we need is we need to set a trigger. Whenever we um, start any automations, we need to start with the trigger. The trigger is what's going to activate this entire flow. And again, the start of sh the start of the show is going to be YouTube. Okay. So let's type in YouTube. And what we want to do with YouTube is we want to watch the video, watch videos in the channel. So what, what it's going to do essentially is what I'm thinking is anytime you upload a video into your, your YouTube channel, um, it's going to say, Hey, let's run this, let's run this automation. Okay. So the first thing it's looking for is a, it's a channel ID and every uh, module, every tool that we use, you're going to have to connect it to your account. Okay. So in my particular case, I can connect it to my YouTube channel and then you'll have to do the same for yours. You have to connect it to your YouTube, YouTube channel in order to get this to work. Okay. Rob, so what it's looking for is a, is a channel ID. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, if you go back to your, if you go to your YouTube channel, let me go to the channel, uh, see my channel here. Sorry. Go to my channel. Sorry. These are my videos. Let's go to my channel. <clears throat> uh, once you go to your channel, we want to just pull the channel IDs. It's, it's, it's my screen is a little delayed, but it's, it's actually showing right here. So let's just pull this here and let's just jump back in here. All right, we can close. Them. All right, sorry, it's a little, little lagging. So let's pull it up here. That's a channel ID. So again, once you go pull up your channel on YouTube, um, you could pull up the, you just have to pull the description. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get to the channel. Let's do a show. It's, it's at my, uh, it's at the, uh, the studio. Let's go to the channel real quick. Okay. 
So yeah, so once you um, hop onto your channel, do me a favor. Oops, sorry, I misposed that. Once we go to your channel, you should be able to pull the actual channel here. Do me a favor. Oh, oh yeah. All right. <laughs> be, be quiet, Aaron. You pull it, you pull it, you pull the channel here. You pull this extension here after the slash channel. You just copy this, this code, and you go back into make, and then you just paste it right here. Okay. Once you paste it right here, you're good. So what you want to do here is we want to set the limit to one. So that'll pull one video at a time. Um, if you want to do like an archive and pull all of your videos, you can put, set it to whatever your limit is and set it that way to make sure everything works. We can just right click on this, right click on the trigger, hit, uh, run this module only, or we could hit, hit play just to make sure everything is working. And once everything is green, that indicates to us that everything is working. So if I click on this magnifying glass here, um, we'll see that it pulled a channel. Okay, and it pulled like the last video from my channel. Okay. All right. The next thing we need to do is we need to pull the video link. So when you run the, when, when, unfortunately with YouTube, it doesn't give you that much information. It allows you to, to, to change certain things about different videos on your channel, but it doesn't pull like the metadata. Like it doesn't pull like, like the, um, the transcripts. So it doesn't get you like the transcripts. It doesn't get you like the length or how long the video is. And those are the things that we're going to need in order to build, uh, the descriptions and everything else, um, that we're trying to populate in the video. Okay. So that's why we use uh, zero code. Um, so the zero code, um, let's see, zero code, zero code kit is what we use. And again, once you sign up for zero, once you sign up for zero code kit, um, let me just log into my account. Once you log into your account, um, once, once you once you log into your account, the the first the first the first screen that you're going to see is you're going to see um, access to the API key. On the main screen, you just have to pull the API key, and then um, once you to, you connect the, the API key to to make, and then that that allow you to communicate with uh, Zero Code Kit. All right, uh, this particular case we got to use Python. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run a Python code. All right, and I'm going to cheat a little bit here, um, and I'm going to pull the the code that I've already written. All right, so let's just rename this here first to uh, let's get video length. And this always add emojis here. Um, see here. Yep. Let's use the hourglass. All right. All right. So, uh, we got to run the video. We got to um, run this Python code and, um, I'm going to steal it here. I'm going to steal the code from my other editor here. Okay. Copy. Oops, let's copy and get rid of this. Boom. All right. Um, we just need to change this. So it's from the video URL. We just got to change this to, um, the, uh, the video ID, right? So after the video, after the, 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 the YouTube video, the, the, there's a video ID that identifies what video you, you, you um, you're working with in the URL. Um, there's one other thing that we have to do and we get to that by showing the advanced settings. What we need to do is with Python code, Python code, <laughs> we need to specify the different, um, modules that we are importing in this particular case, we're importing Pi two. So if we hit the plus sign here, the key, the requirements is, um, the requirement is Pi two. So I'm going to just copy and paste just to make it easier for us and try to make this as fast as possible. All right. So we need to, it needs to be in array format and everything like that. All right. <laughs> the requirements require that it's, it's an array. So I just made it, um, I added an empty array and I added the pie tube, um, into the empty array. Um, so again, if you are part of the course, you just copy this entire thing. You can put it into the, into your, um, into your, uh, Python code and that'll run. Okay. So if we run this right now, let's just run it real quick. And what is, what it's doing right now is going to get the length of this particular YouTube video, right? So if we click on this, 
and hit the plus sign. They said that the YouTube video was 20 seconds long. So that's probably a short. It's probably one of my shorts that are, that's 20 seconds long. Okay. Um, let's save this. And we should, as best practice, save as you go along because <laughs> ask me, ask me how I know. <laughs> because I created entire automations without saving. I ran the automation, something froze, and I had to do the entire thing over again. So that wasn't fun. So um, my suggestion to you is after test as you go, save as you go. All right. That's, that's my word of advice for today. <laughs> All right. So now let's just clone this. Oops. Sorry. My computer is acting up. Give me a second. Sorry about that. It's trying to print something. All right. Sorry about that. So let's right click on it. Come on. Right click. There you go. Right click and let's clone the module here. And instead of video length, we're going to change this to let's rename this to uh, the transcript video. Transcribe. Yeah, transcribe video. Oops, if I could spell transcribe, right? Transcribe video. All right, emojis we're going to use. Let's use a little pen emoji or pencil emoji because we are writing things down. Let me grab my code. Give me a second. All right. So again, yeah, we're using we're using Python code in order in this particular for this particular module. We're using Python code to um, extract the the text that the, to, to transcribe the the, the audio the text. Sorry, my computer is acting a little bit slow with me today. So let's just do this, and we want to do video ID again. Uh, YouTube video ID. Right, and then on this particular case, what we're using on the top is we're using the YouTube transcript API module. So let's just grab this. And instead of PyTube, which we're using the last one, we'll just change this to transcript here. Okay. Um, in this particular case, well, let's, let's hit save. <laughs> Right, and what we want to do is we we, we got to select the video in this particular case because my shorts, most most of my short videos, um, they they don't contain any. They they don't contain any um, I'm not speaking or there's no speaking. In. It's just an image that's showing. You You just have to read the image of my YouTube shorts, so it's not gonna it's gonna fail if we do that. So let's just choose where to start from, and I have a I have a test video we can we can. You can play with here a little bit. I have a test video here that I created. Hit OK. Hit run once. And let's go through this real quick. OK, so right now what it's doing is it's going to get the length of the video and now it's going to transcribe the video. OK. All right, we're going to let that run. It'll take a few seconds and then we can we can check it out. All right, so let's look at the length of the video first. So the length of the video is 444 seconds, 444. <laughs> All right, and um, if we transcribe the video, the transcription, sorry, of the video is, this is it right here. So I pulled everything, pulled the words. This is from, um, looks like one of my uh, uh, podcast episodes. And I have an AI podcast um, called the Notary Nuggets podcast. I created it all with AI automation. It runs every day. It posts every day on all my social media with um, completely automated. So that's another thing we do. Let me know, drop your, Drop, drop, uh, drop in the comments if you want me to do a video on the pod. Say, but video on the, video on the pod in the comments below, and then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, um, add that. And be sure if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below as well. All right, while we're there, cool. So, um, next thing we're gonna do is um, to speed things up a little bit. I'm gonna just do a copy and paste just so we can. Um, move through the video fast because at the end I would like to do a little bit more than what I have here. So hopefully I can get through the video real quick for you. Okay. So I'm going to copy and paste and then I'll, I'll show you exactly what I did. Oops. Sorry. Listen up here. Uh, yep. Sorry. Come on. 
There we go. There we go. All right, so let's uh, go here. Let's paste it. Boom. Copy and paste, baby. All right, so this is the video title. So what we need to change here is red because it's looking for things that are not there. So if we go to the video title, what we want to do is we want to um, oh, I'm missing here. Right, video title, video transcript. Here we go. Uh, give me a second. Sorry. Sometimes copy and pasting. Throw you for a little loop. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm. What am I doing? It's right here. Cheer. This is the system prompt <laughs> and this is the user prompt. All right. So let's go back here. And what we want to do is we want to uh, get the prompt for the title. So we want to use the transcript, right? So let's get the video transcript code and we'll put it right there and we're good. Okay. So then it produces a video title. Let's hit save. All right. And uh, let's uh, get this up a little bit and let's run it. Okay, so let's run it once again. Actually, let's this before we run it again. Let's just do the chapters. Actually, I didn't read it for you. Sorry, I'm, I'm jumping the gunny. I'm trying to go faster than I can. So what I did is I did a system. I, I did a system assistant. I did a system role on the chat GPT 4 row, and I also did a user role. So the system role is basically going to give instructions um, to the to the model, is telling the model exactly what to do. I said you are an AI content generator task with creating compelling YouTube video titles. Your goal is to write a title that captures the video, the, vi the viewer's attention, clearly conveying the video's content and including relevant keywords to improve searchability. Uh, the title should be consistent, engaging and optimized for click through rates. You will be provided with a YouTube trans transcript. Uh, the video title should be less than 100 characters. That's a requirement for YouTube. Um, the chapter names should be huh, the chapter names I have the chapter names here so don't need to have that but that's okay the chapter name should be seo optimized only respond with the video title and nothing else so we could actually take out the chapter names because we don't need the chapter names here that's for the next one okay um <clears throat> and i'll put an example input so the example input is going to be this video review is a thousand i just created a general one which would be but the actual video transcript will be a little bit longer than that all right and i said the video output i gave it like uh the top 10 ai tools to boost your productivity in 2024 so that's a an uh an example output that i would like for um the ai to produce as far as the user input uh, the user input is just the transcribed is just the transcribe the transcription okay all right cool all right <clears throat> So next, let's just uh, let's copy and paste again, and I'll go through it one more time. Okay, let's cut module. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put in the video chapters. Okay, and I know I'm jumping a little bit here, but in order to add um, a module, all you have to do is click on this plus sign. And in our particular case, what I did is I said Open AI, and with the Open AI, again, when you connect any of these modules for the first time. You got the make is going to automatically prompt you to connect it to um, your account. Okay. So with OpenAI, you just have to go to um, openai.com. Um, and once you go to openai.com, you have to just add credits to the, your OpenAI account. Uh, again, it's a pay by usage. I believe this is $5, $10 to get started. Then you can set a replenish, um, replenishment amount for $5. And every time you go below that threshold, uh, it it, it uh it uh, charges your your card five five bucks um i could i mean i mean i go really hard uh, on ai and i don't i never pass 20 dollars a month and I, and I have like at least 30 different automations running every day and it, so it's literally like half a penny to run like an automation so it's very cheap um to run this and then you can really pound it pause <laughs> all right <laughs> Next to the video chapters, okay? Um, when we go into the video chapters, what I specified here is, excuse me, I said, um, you will be provided with a YouTube transcript and the length of the video is in seconds. Um, the chapter name should correspond with the timestamps respectively. Timestamps cannot exceed the video length. Um, ask me why I put that there is because it was going crazy, but I, I, I got it all worked out. 
Um, the timestamps format is in minutes, MSS, meaning like minutes and seconds. Uh, timestamps should not exceed the video in length. Timestamps need to align with the video chapters. And the chapters is just the names. And I said the name should be SEO optimized. Uh, please generate the YouTube um, video chapters. And I told her how I should, how I should um, organize it. So it's the timestamp um, dash ch chapter name. And I said, order respond with the video chapters and nothing else. Okay. Um, as far as the user um, inputs, what we need to do is we need to just take this out and we need to add the video length. So if we collapse everything, collapse everything, the video length is this right here. So we just need to get the results and click here. The video transcript is here and we need to add the results from the video transcript there. Boom. Hit OK. All right. So let's hit this hit save. I think now is a good time to save everything. Um, when it's saved, you get this little purple flash button, let you know that it's saved and let's run it. All right. So again, I want to run it from that particular test uh, video that I have. So let's right click on the trigger, hit uh, choose where to start. And then we want to choose manually. And for you, you don't have to do this when whenever you add a video, it's going to automatically and you whenever you add a video and you turn on the scheduling on here, it's going to automatically run for you. But I'm just doing it for for this uh, uh, this test. OK, um, there it is. Test video. Hit OK. And let's run it once. All right. So again, it's going to pull that test video. It's going to see how long the video is uh, by running this uh, Python code through zero code kit. After it does that, then it's going to transcribe the video. It's going to take the audio to transcribe it using again, using the Python code that I've uh, coded in here. Um, and then what it's going to do next is going to use open AI to generate a video title. Let's take a quick look at it. And then it's going to also take use open AI to do the video chapters. Okay. So let's look at the video title. So if we go to video title, it says master. Master work-life balance, essential tips for mobile notary. So we'll pull that and then and it created a, a title for us. Okay. Now the video chapters using the, the video length and the transcript. Let's see what it came up with. All right. So let's look, go to use uh, the results here. Boom. So it, it did the, everything here. All right. So it says the introduction and it went all the way to the conclusion here. All right. So pulled everything that we needed and we are golden. Okay, cool. Um, what's next? The next, the next thing is the video description. Okay. The video description. So let's copy this. All right. And now we're going to paste it here. All right. And let's copy this here. Link it together. All right. And let's take a quick look at it. All right. <clears throat> So again, um, I created using chat GPT 4.0, I created a system role and I created the user role. Okay. So the system role is saying, uh, I said, I, uh, um, you will be provided with, you will be provided with a YouTube transcript. Please generate a YouTube video description. You are an AI content generator tasked with creating, engaging and informative YouTube video descriptions. Your goal is to write a description that captures the essence of the video, it encourages your viewers to watch and provides relevant information and links. Um, the description should include a brief summary of the video content, key points or topics covered in the video, a call to action, like comments, some subscribe, relevant links, social media, chapters, appropriate hashtags. The output should be less than 5,000 characters. Output and plain text, output and hashtag only in the hashtag section of the output. And then I gave it an example input and I gave it an example output. And it says um, an example output, it, it goes into everything. And then on the bottom, what I did is um, the relevant links, like follow, follow us on Instagram. Um, this promoting your other, your website said, check out, check out our website. I put um, the website here, there. All right. So that's, that's the system role. So on the user role, we just need to change a few things, right? So let's delete the title and delete this and delete this. And let's add our, add our things here. So in the title. Um, on the title, let's just collapse everything. Uh, the video titles right here, video title. Boom. We put that here. Chapters. Let's click on chapters, the video chapters here, right there. Boom. Right. And that's why it's important to label everything as you go. So that way you know what's what. Okay. 
Now the transcript, the transcript, let's again collapse everything. Uh, let's collapse it all. The transcript, the transcribe video, this transcript right here. That's the transcript. And then I put the contact links. So on the contact link, I put my, my X account, my website, um, and I promote it like uh, I, I, um, I sell chatbots and I also put, and I also sell like um, some YouTube stuff there. So you can put whatever things that you want in your video. So that way, you know, you can, every time you put out a video that you have that in your description, okay? And it'll be consistent amongst all of your videos once you start using this tool, okay? All right, let's hit okay. We hit save. And the next thing we need to do is we need to focus on the image. So we have the title, we have the chapters, and we have the description, right? So we have the title and then the chapters is going to go inside of the description and then we create a description. So we have the title and description. Next thing we need to do is image. Okay. Um, so we need to do some prep with the image first. Um, you know, on YouTube, a lot of times when you see the thumbnail, um, you, you normally see like some wording inside the thumbnail. So we got to hopefully fingers crossed everything works that we can get it looking good. Because again, I'm, um, I'm still testing out the Nardo AI. Um, but initially though, my initial test, I didn't do any images in the text. I, I'm sorry. I didn't do any text in the images and, um, the images are great. I like the, the way the images came out. Um, but I'm trying to step it up a notch and I'm trying to, uh, add, I'm trying to make this as automated as possible. So that way you can just set this up and then you don't even have to think about it. Everything will just run and, and work for you. Okay. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the, the text that's going to go inside of the image, right? So I'm going to copy this and then we'll go through it. All right. And again, sticking with, uh, oops. Whoa. All right. Sticking with, uh, open AI. All right. So let's go in here. All right. So we are using again, GPT 4.0 and we're just using a user prompt this time because it's pretty, pretty short. So you say, use the video title below to come up with one eye catching phrase. That is three to five words in length and will be placed on the thumbnail image. All right. So the video description, uh, we just need to go here and the video description is what we used in the last module, right? The video description. So we just hit results. Um, and I said, I'll put the one phrase only. All right. I'll put the one phrase only. We hit okay. All right. We'll hit save. And then we will copy this other module. Great. And then we'll go through it again. All right. Let's catch it here. Um, and let's go through the thumbnail image prep. Okay. So what we do right now is we get a prep our prompt. So that way it, um, is ready to be put directly into, um, Leonardo AI. Okay. So I just, at the system prompt, I, I, I stated that I said, uh, you are, you are a Leonardo AI prompt generation expert tasked with accepting parameters and creating a detailed prompt that is optimized with the latest models and styles. Um, you will be provided with a YouTube title and description. Please generate a prompt and model that will be used for a YouTube video thumbnail. Only include the words. All right. So the words that we got to use in this is the words that we generated. Remember the words that we got to put inside of the thumbnail. I said, only use the words, um, right here. Let's put the results, those words, whatever words it comes up with. And I said two, I'll put the prompt only in plain text. So the prompt that it outputs, um, to give to Leonardo AI is going to be in plain text and the, the YouTube title, if we just collapse everything. And we go to YouTube title, which is the video title. It's right here. And the description, the YouTube description, um, is right here, right? So we go to results, the description right there. And then I gave it a bunch of sample output. So let's, this, this is a good time for me to jump into Leonardo AI and show you what I did. So that way you can do it on your own as well. But I gave it like different prompts that I found produced great images and I just told it like, like follow this pattern. So it could pick up patterns and pick up how I want everything to be prompt prompted. 
and it'll use it. So I gave it 12 examples and I'm going to continue to give it more examples. Eventually I'm going to turn this system prompt into a, um, um, into like a, a bot. So within, 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 um, open AI, you can create what's called assistance. So that way, if you have a program that you could use uh, across multiple, um, automations, so we can, we can set the model up inside of, um, open AI. So that way you can create, um, a prompt. And I've, if you looked at my other videos, I've used it before. I've did like, um, Instagram prompt, X prompt, all the different social media prompts, like link, LinkedIn prompts. I'm going to create a prompt for, um, Leonardo AI. So that way I can have it and I can tweak it and test it a little bit more. So that way, when I use Leonardo AI in a future module in a future, oh, sorry, in a future automation. Um, it's going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have consistency amongst, um, all of the different, um, um, automations that I do. Okay. And I included, uh, also I included the good things to do and I included some of the bad things to do. I'm not going to say it here because it's, you know, we are on YouTube, but I told it like not to include two heads, not make sure that the arms and make sure that make sure you have like five fingers, make sure you have like, make sure you have like, uh, like two eyes, things like that. Cause sometimes when it produced humans it's like weird you get like six fingers and then you get like different weird things that happens and i mean it's still how it's not perfect but at least you could give it a heads up like not to make it um like to make it as realistic as possible like say like, like this one says um not to include like missing limbs or extra fingers things like that so i put negative prompts in here and as well as i put mostly positive positive prompts. okay all right um so the next thing is the title, right? We've got to update the title on here. Uh, let's see if we collapse everything, update the title, let's see the video title. And then we go to update the description again. So if we go to description, the results. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I'm not clicking too many times. I'm sorry. My computer is a little delayed. All right. So we got the title and the description. And we are good to go there. Okay. Hit okay. Let's hit save. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this and then we're going to jump over to while it's running, we're going to jump over to, um, Leonardo AI and I'm going to show you a little bit what I was talking about. All right. So let's say choose where to start and let's go manual. Hit okay. And, uh, let's go back to our test and let's hit okay. And let's run this. So while this is running, and again, you know, we kind of went over what everything's going to do. We got to jump over to Leonardo, Le Leonardo AI. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go inside here and let's launch the app. All right. So this is Leonardo AI. So once you're in, you see how you have this certain credits here. I have 139 credits. You just have to go into your account and then you can add credits to it. Okay. I believe I initially added 150 credits and I, I have, I just, I haven't really used much and you can set replenishment amount. So that way, when you get low, it automatically add it. So you don't have to keep coming back in here, but you just add the credits and, and, and you're good to go. All right. Um, so if you go to my purse, if you go, oh, this is where I started. So if you go to the home page, it shows you like what other creators have done and you can see how realistic these images are and you can see how it's so much better than Dolly. Dolly three. I haven't seen Dolly create anything to this level, to this, to this clarity. Oh, look at this one in the middle. It's, uh, I'm not going to mention it. We were on YouTube, right? So I want to say what it is, but you can see what that is. Okay. I don't want any, I promise. I don't, I don't want any. <laughs> All right. Um, but you can see this, look at this. This is amazing. Right? So I clicked on like some of the, the images that, that I liked, like, um, which one did I like? I like the one that looked like very human. Um, I can't find some of the ones that I've, that I chose, but like, let's look at this one. I think this is one of them I chose. So let's click on this one and it gives you the prompt that it used to create this image. So I just copied this prompt and I just added it to my model. So that way it will kind of use the, this wording to, to create the prompt for me, what I'm ready for, um, to produce an image. So I'm going to continue to build on this. And eventually I want to maybe have like a hundred prompts in there. So that way. The AI knows exactly how I like the images and it's going to produce the images for me that way. Okay. So I went in here and I picked 10 that I liked and then I added it to the, added it to my model and it's great. Look, look at this image. Look how real this image is, right? If we click on it a little bit more, look at this it's, it's great. I mean, you can still tell this AI if you look at the eyes, but I mean, man, it's like, it's amazing, right? Um, for, for AI, for 
AI produced image. This is really good. All right. So I wanted to just show you that real quick. Um, but if you look at some of the images that I've done, um, you go back to the personal feed and then you'll see, you'll see, you'll see those images um, and you'll see my progression. Okay. So I'm still playing with this. Like, um, like I was playing with the cat to two heads and I got a cat with one head and I've been just kind of just playing with it. And um, like, this is the one that I produced. That's really nice. Remember I told you the one that I just, I just showed you, I created it in a wide format. So that way we can upload an image to uh, YouTube. All right. All right, so let's get back to the video. Let me teach you how to do this thing. All right, so if we go to um, here, we'll see that it ran and let's see. All right, so let's see the video description. Did we look at that already? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, although we didn't look at this. So we looked at the chapters, that was the last thing we did, right? So here it says, welcome to the Notary, Notary Nuggets podcast. Today's episode, it goes into everything. It goes into the key points. It goes into the chapters, the relevant links. Um, which I include my links, my, all my emotional stuff. So thank you for tuning in, call to action. And that's pretty, that's pretty dang on cool. Right now the thumbnail words, let's see what the thumbnail, let's see what thumbnail words it came up with. The output is master work life balance. So it should paste this word or this phrase inside the image, master work life balance. Now the thumbnail image prep, um, this is the prompt that we get to give to, um, Leonardo AI. It says a modern and clean professional YouTube thumbnail image featuring a confident and approachable mobile notary standing in front of a sleep and it goes into it it says the words master life work life balance should be promptly displayed in bold okay so that's great all right so now let's um pull up with auto ai okay let me just um add it here and again as i mentioned earlier whenever you add a new uh module to to your automation uh make is going to say hey how do we need to know what we need to know your account credentials and it's going to prompt you automatically. So don't worry about it. Once you set everything up in um, Leonardo, Leonardo AI will give you an API key and you'll be able to access that. Okay. So let's go back into Leonardo and let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually copy this because what I wanted to is run Leonardo separately to see what it happens. Okay. So let's go into Leonardo AI and show you what I did. So the results is just going to be the result from the image prep. Okay. So it's going to take the prompt um, from the image, the image, the thumbnail image prep is the prompt. So it's going to pull it to the thing. I should probably call it thumbnail prompt to make it easier. All right. And what I did is I, I, I they have some limitations with the API that only allows 10, 1024 by 1024. But I believe with the YouTube thumbnail is a little bit larger than that. So I did the best that I could in order to, to make it um, a 16 by nine, 16 by 19 ratio, uh, which is what you need to, to the, the aspect ratio that you need in order to create a thumbnail in YouTube. In YouTube. So I did this with the closest I can do, which is 1024 by um, 576. And that's considered to be a high definition um, 16 by 17 model. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. And a few things that I clicked on that you don't see by default is if you activate the advanced features, the default is you're just going to see this right here. But once you, def once you activate the advanced features, it gives you a little bit more thing. It gives you a little bit more options. So one was to change the, um, dimensions. Next was the alchemy. Alchemy is, I mean, I didn't have that turned on initially and then my image is looking really crazy. So then I turned on alchemy, which is, um, not Phoenix. Phoenix is the next one that they have in place, but alchemy is what, the, what came before and what's producing some great images. And I turn on like make the photo real, use prompt magic. So it'll create, it'll change my prompt and it'll make it high contrast, high resolution. And I turn on a bunch of things here. So that way it'll uh, enhance the image a little bit. Okay. So let's test it out. So I hit okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this module only and it's going to ask me for the prompt. Okay. So this is the prompt. We'll hit paste. We'll hit okay. All right, so now Leonardo.ai is running and we'll be able to see the image once once the image is produced, we'll be able to see it and we'll be able to see it in Leonardo. Okay, so we'll go back to Leonardo and we'll just check it out and see what it came up with. All right, still running, still running, still producing the image. Boom, so it's done. Okay, when it's green, that means we're good and we're golden. So let's go back to Leonardo. Let's refresh the screen and let's see what it came up with. Fingers crossed, everything is good. Come on. 
All right, let's refresh the screen. And let's see what it came up with. Boom, here it is right here. Let's see, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, so the wording was it's not perfect, but it came up with um, this. Okay, so the wording didn't come up as I wanted it to. If we look at the prompt, uh, a modern clean and professional YouTube thumbnail image featuring a confident and approachable mobile notary standing in front of a sleek, organized workspace. Uh, the background should be bright, well-lit office sitting in a suitable touch, touches of greenery and technology. The words master work-life balance should be promptly displayed in bold. So that's the prompt, but it says master like work-life balance. So it didn't, it didn't get it a hundred percent right. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm going to run it again and see what it produces the second time. So again, like I mentioned, this is not perfect. And part of the reason why we should probably put it in a software like, like Airtable, which we're going to go to next is so that we can check these things and then we can kind of tweak it. We could take out the wording altogether, but the whole point of having a YouTube thumbnail is so that way you can display the words. Cause that's, cause again, we're selling and YouTube is selling a package, right? Nobody's going to open the package unless it's attractive. And what makes a YouTube uh, video attractive is a thumbnail, right? Cause that's the first thing we see is a thumbnail or what the thumbnail, what we read on the thumbnail. And then secondly, we look at the title is the second thing that we look at is the title. And we don't look at the description. The description is when we actually open the video, we can kind of look at the description. But the main thing is it is it is a it's the um it's a thumbnail and the second thing is the title. So those are the two things that we need to perfect, you know? Um so I would recommend is putting it in Airtable first. And um you can use tools like Canva to, to go inside the image and delete the background and change things and make it nicer if you want. Um and that's another thing that I wish that was connected to make was Canva. That, I mean, if Canva was connected to make, uh, it'll be all over. Um, in another video, I'll show, I'll show you some things I've been doing with Canva as well. But um, uh, I digress as usual. All right, but let's run this. Let's run this one more time to see uh, what it produces the second time. Okay, so let's uh, run this module only, and let's put the same prompt back in there. Uh, let's hit OK. Let's let it run, and let's see what it produces the second time. Okay. In the meantime. What we can do is Airtable. Um, so Airtable, um, let's slide into Airtable. So Airtable again is what I said is like as our glorified um, Excel spreadsheet. Um, it's our glorified it's our glorified Excel spreadsheet that we can go in and we can create um, spreadsheets that we can connect to me. Okay, so let's go back into Alonardo. Let's hit refresh again. Let's go home and let's go back into the feed and let's refresh it and let's see what it produces the second time to see if it, if it, if it, uh, is a little better. Okay. So this time it's a different image. Um, it didn't have any words. I mean, I prefer it this way. <laughs> if you're not going to get the words right, don't put any words. All right. Um, so it's right, but we can see that it's not perfect because the guy's feet is here and his, his body is here. So it's, it's not perfect. Um, uh, it looks great. Um, and I mean, I'll, I'll be able to work with this and, and, and kind of finagle it a little bit, but we can see that his body's here and his feet is down here. So it's, uh, and it's part of the reason why I didn't use uh, Leonardo is because it, it wasn't perfect, but to me, the quality of the image, as far as, um, it, it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty good, right? It's better than Dolly three as far as quality of the image, but, um, it still has work to do. Okay. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> what's next? All right. So next thing we have to do is Airtable. Okay. So Airtable is what we're going to use to like kind of store all of this information in, and then we can go in and we can, um, we can audit it from here. So let's just paste the Airtable here and we are going to create our table. Okay. All right. Um, Airtable, I can show you how to use it real quick. Once you sign into Airtable, I'm going to show you how everything all works. All right, let's get in here real quick and let's just add a new space. So if you start from scratch, what you can name it is we can call it uh, YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTube stuff. <laughs> 
All right, and then we can customize it, make whatever color we like. Let's make it gray. And, um, oops, where did I go? YouTube stuff, there we go. And let's just go in and make it other, our parents. Let's see if we can find like something like a video or something. Uh, like I'm stuck with like a video icon maybe, please. Should have it here somewhere. You know, I'm all about the emojis, baby. Let's see. Come on. Uh, all right. We just use the camera. All right. We got time. All right. So we have, what we could do first is we could customize the field. So let's see what we need. So if we go into the air table and we're going to need. All right. So YouTube URL, title, chapters, description. All right. So let's see. Let's go in here and let's create this thing. All right. So we'll, let's go back here and it's a YouTube URL. Let's just go ahead and right click on it. Edit field. Going to call YouTube. YouTube URL. I already have it here. This is going to be a single line. The next one, we could change this. Uh, what was the next thing we need? We need the title. I have title. Title. All right. And the title is going to be a short text. All right. A single line item. Hit OK. And then what we can do is edit this field again um what's the third thing we need we need um chapters chapters we can right click on this and the chapter should be right there like that emoji and for the chapters we're going to change this to a long text okay hit save next we want to do edit field um Right click edit field and we want to go to the description is the next one we need. All right. Click on that. The description is going to be long. So we got to do a long text. Hit save. What's the next thing that we need? The next thing that we need is we need a thumbnail photo URL. Okay. Um, add a field here. Thumbnail. We can just put a uh, photo. URL, right? And uh, it's a URL, so we're gonna change that. We're gonna create a link, and this is gonna be a single text. Create fields. All right, boom. So once we have that set up, and again, once you connect, once you have, um, once you have, once you, sorry, once you, once you have your. Um, Airtable connected to make. You just have to again add your credentials in here. Then you would choose a base. The, the base they're referring to is the actual spreadsheet. And in this particular case, we did YouTube stuff, right? And we can just go to video details. Oops, what does it say? I guess in error of table not found. Table not found. Uh oh. That's it. Okay. Let's hit refresh. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's hit save. We haven't hit save in a while. Go back in here. YouTube stuff. Fresh. Oh, I know why. Because I copied it. It's table one. Sorry. Table one. Refresh. Hello. All right, let's do this. Let's start from scratch. So we'll delete this. See, that's why it's not good to cheat sometimes. All right, so let's do it from scratch. Set air table. Air table. What we're going to do is we're going to create a record and we're going to go to the base. The base is going to be YouTube stuff. Table is going to be table one and it should pull up the fields this time. Darn. All right, here we go. So YouTube URL. Um, what I had on this particular case is, um, where did I copy it from? Right here. What I wanted to do in, this, in the YouTube URL is I wanted to create the edit portion so that way, if you go to Airtable and you click on that link, it's gonna take you right to, it's gonna allow you to go right to edit your YouTube video so you don't have to track it. And then what we wanna do here is we want to change this to the video, the, uh, the, the, the video ID and we can get that from the first module. Um, we'll go here, we get that video ID and we got that. All right, next, 
title, 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 titles right here. Add the title there. Next is chapters, All right? We add our chapters so we have it separately if we need it. The description, go here, add the description. Then the photo URL, uh, photo URL. You got that from Leonardo, right? Leonardo is going to produce, is going to produce a new URL. That's it right there. All right, hit okay. And let's run this once, okay? We gotta run it. And this is essentially the automation that I showed you earlier. So this is everything that we need essentially. Um, but if you feel comfortable, you can uh, start applying some of these things to a YouTube video and we'll test it out in a second, okay? We'll do one and then we'll, we'll test it out just to see. We'll do, we'll do, the, we'll do the description and we'll do the, um, we'll do the description. We'll do it all. We'll see if we can do it all. I mean, the video is already almost, it's approaching, it's almost an hour already. So I'm just trying to keep it under an hour, but I want, I want to give you guys so many nuggets that you're walking away with something. All right, cool. All right. So now it's producing the image. Let's see what the problem is. It, Flip a modern eye catching YouTube thumbnail showcasing a phrase revolutionizing multi notary services. Um, so let's see. All right, so let's go to Airtable. We can we can kind of track everything. We go to YouTube stuff, boom, we pulled it right here. So if we click on this, this actually put open up the open up the entire thing. All right, so this is the um the chapters. It pull, pull, pull everything in the chapters, and then and the hashtag, the names, everything, like and subscribe, everything we need to call to action. So if we click on here, it should open up the Leonardo image, which I don't like. I felt like it was better before. Um, it was, it was the, the, the first two images that we, or at least the first prompt that we pulled was a lot better. So I don't necessarily like this image. And that's part of the reason why Leonardo AI, I'm still testing, is still trying to get it right. Because sometimes it's to me, it's like, 75% good and then 25% which we just pulled out is we pull up images like that okay um so this area for improvement so I recommend that you don't put it out yet or at least you play with the prompt a little bit more and I think as I do more videos and as I improve on the prompt that it'll get better okay and I'm gonna produce some uh I'm gonna continue to play with this again I just had a conversation today with my um my partner and um and that we he encouraged me to start using it some more. So I'm, I'm I'm out there. I'm being vulnerable, and I'm showing you how this thing is. All right, cool. So what we can do next is we can stop here, or we can start maybe start applying some of these things. Okay. So what we should do is add a router. Oh, look at this. Sorry, for the spell it. All right, we're gonna add a routers, and so we can do some flow control here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to update the YouTube um update the video details oh we could do it in one shot cool so let's, let's do the one shot actually so let's update the video details the video id the video id let's see let's collapse all we should be able to get the video id from the first module which is here right the title um we want to update the title the title is video title it's right there um okay um okay um the video description is right here um the category uh we can change the category here too we can change it to maybe how to privacy status we can do private unlisted which is cool um let's change it to uh unlisted Actually, no, let's leave it, leave it as public because all we're doing right now is we're changing the um, descriptions, right? Is the video made for kids? Uh, we'll say no, it's not made for kids. Um, let's see, let's close this and see what some advanced options are. Go to advanced. Oh, so we can add tags if you want. Um, well, that's cool. You can add tags. Um, so that's another thing that we can do. We can probably add tags on here, right? Um, reported date, the license. The license I like to use, I'm sorry if I move this over a little bit. The license I like to use in my videos is the Creative Commons attribute. I learned that that's pretty good is that if somebody really likes your video, it allows them to repurpose the video. So if they want to like, um, 
like talk in a video and do other things like that they can do that like you're giving them you're giving them the green light to do that um so if you do the creative commons attribution that allows that allow for embedding you say yes so that if they want to embed the video on one of their sites then that's more power to you right so i'm not going to add any tags now but maybe that's something i can do i can add um a portion here where i'll just add youtube tag which will be cool all right you hit okay and actually we don't even need the router you just do this so let's um or well maybe i'll leave the router so if we ever do the video um if you ever change the video because if you go back into youtube here if you go back into youtube here you can um, up, um set the video thumbnail here so we'll leave that for the thumbnail there um actually what i can do is we can add a thumbnail we can add the video set the video thumbnail but what we'll do is we won't um we won't run it but we'll just leave it here as a i'll disable this route so it's not going to run but it's going to i'm sorry if you couldn't see that so i just i disabled this route just to set the youtube thumbnail but i disabled the route and actually let's just set it up but i'm not going to run it because i don't i don't like that that image so again the video id is here um go here video id um there in the video thumbnail data oh it's looking for oh so it's looking for us to download so we have to have to download this video okay so that's something that it's looking to do i didn't know that all right so that's something we have to change so we have to actually download this video of the leonardo so if we see if we add that here we can be able to do that or or here's what i can do i can add a module here we can download the video so if we go to leonardo let's see if it allows us to do that uh upload an image generate an image it doesn't allow us to download the image so that's something that i gotta play with all right so that's something i gotta play with so it, what youtube wants is it wants it uh, it wants the actual data of the they want the data of the actual video data meaning they need to they need to get the actual data the actual image a downloaded version of the image so i can create i'll create um something that'll allow you to do that so let's just delete this portion now <laughs> and um Maybe I'll do a part two to this video once everything is working better and I'll do a, a better iteration of this portion. So we'll delete this for now. Let's delete this. And we'll also delete this. Oops. Come on. Delete this module and we'll also delete this. Actually, we'll need the router right now. So we'll delete the router. Delete the module. Let's go back here. Uh, let's clean everything up. And let's run it one more time. Hopefully, when we run it this time, we'll see our updated description. So if we go back here and we go back to the videos, let me go back to my videos. My, actually, let's let it run. And then we'll go to the videos and we'll refresh it. So let's just run it now. So while it's running, we can look at the videos and we can go from there. So you choose where to start, choose manually. We're going to choose test video. That should change, right? It shouldn't be test video anymore. And let's run it. Okay, so let that run. And while that's running, um, we are going to go to the YouTube video and we are going to check it out. So let's see. Um, studio. Video, let's pull it up. All right, the nano is running. Fingers crossed the video comes out good. Hopefully, it's in our 75 percentile. Uh, so, I want to go to studio and then I want to just check out that uh, video. So, if we go to go to my content um, and let's go to the test video, this is it right here. This is the video that's going to get updated. So once I click on this, what's oh, they already did it. So you like, they already refreshed everything before I can get into it. So mastering work-life balance, essential tips for mobile notaries, things I can clean up is I can get rid of the quotes. So I can tell it to, to export with no quotes. So that's something we could change. 
and then I can have it clean up so that it outputs only in plain text, so it'll get rid of the thing. So there's a few things I can clean up here, but for the most part, we see how it produces everything. It produces the thumbnails, and it produces everything that we're looking for. So this is pretty good. This is pretty, 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 pretty good. Oops, we'll save the changes. But um, yeah, so I hope that you got everything that you need from this video. Again, I'm gonna probably create a part two to this, so that way you, I'll clean everything up, test everything out some more, fine tune a little bit, and then I'll um, I'll put out the uh, final product. Okay, the final product again is gonna be in the school in my um, in my community. I'll have a link to that below. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this helps with your automation journey. Um, it's been over an hour. I like to keep the videos at least under an hour so that way I don't keep it for too long. I appreciate your time. If you've been watching for this long, you are a real one. And I'll see you until the next time. Don't forget to subscribe below again. Until next time. Peace.